Welcome to Building Worlds, the series where we show you everything you need to make unique environment art in Dot Big Bang. In this video, we'll be looking at the tool that does it all, the Dot Big Bang Game Editor. From any Dot Big Bang page, click the menu icon in the top right corner and select Build a Game. From your Dot Big Bang profile page, click any of the games you have made to open them and then click the Edit button in the top left corner. You can also open a remixable game like this one and click the Remix button to open a new copy of the game in the game editor. Games in Dot Big Bang do not save automatically, so it's important to press the Save button in the top right corner regularly to keep your work. In this menu, you can specify a name for your project. To capture a new screenshot to represent the game, move your avatar or camera around and then click the Snap New Thumbnail button. Check the published box to make your game show up on your profile and in the search of the Dot Big Bang homepage. If the game is not published, you will still be able to see it in your own profile when logged in, but no one else will. Check the remixable box to let other creators make copies of your game that they can then edit. You can use the Save As button to make a new copy of the game and save the most recent changes to it, allowing you to keep multiple versions of the project. The Mood menu will let you change lighting and effects to quickly customize the visual look of your game. Choose one of the preset moods to start, or jump straight into customizing the sunlight, sky, and post-processing effects that players see. The game editor starts in basic mode. This is a minimal, distraction-free way to start building a space in Dot Big Bang that should feel like the way you build in a game. Advanced mode introduces more options, including customizing the way the camera works and being able to search through all the entities in the game. There are three options for the camera in the game editor. Game camera follows the player avatar. You can move the player with the W, A, S, and D keys like in most Dot Big Bang games and rotate the camera around the player with the mouse by holding the right mouse button. Fly camera moves the camera directly with the W, A, S, and D keys, and the Q and E keys will move the camera higher and lower. You can also hold the Shift key to increase the speed and still rotate the camera with the mouse holding the right mouse button. Orbit camera will let you pan the camera with the mouse while holding right click and always stay focusing an object, similar to the way the camera orbits around the player in the game camera, if you hold the Shift key and the right mouse button. In advanced mode, you can use the pause button to freeze your game and examine it at a specific moment in time. This can be especially useful for looking at things that only spawn temporarily and then disappear. Changes you make are updated in real time, so you won't have to press stop and play to see your changes take effect. But you can use the stop button to reset your game to the state before any of the code runs and the play button to get everything running again. The Debug Options menu gives you ways to test your game's performance. The Stats panel will show lots of information including how many total entities you have in your game and how long each script is taking to execute. The FPS panel just shows the number of frames your game can create per second and shows up in the bottom left corner. You can also disable fog and post-processing effects to make your game easier to render while editing. When you drag a new voxel object into the game, it will automatically move around and reposition itself on top of anything you drag it over. Under Multi-Tool, you can swap gizmos to move entities on a specific XYZ axis or along a plane, rotate entities around their XYZ axes, or scale them larger or smaller. With the regular Multi-Tool selected, you can make entities snap by holding the Shift key and drag a new copy of an entity by holding the Control key. The entity search on the right side will list every single entity in your game. Entities that spawn during gameplay will also show up here. When you select an individual entity, you can see all of its properties and components in the entity panel on the right. We will learn more about these menus in the entities section. 